Okay, firstly, I'm going to take you through the rules of badminton in this video. So, on this I've listed eight videos, uh, eight rules, sorry. Uh, the first of all is the one that the game starts with, which is the toss. So, this gives a 50-50 chance, so it's the fairest way of seeing who gets to serve first and who gets to pick what end. Um, so, it's going to be in every game, it's quite a basic rule. Uh, the scoring system. So the score system in badminton uh, is a lot simpler than it used to be. You have, you could only uh, score points when it was your serve in the old system. Um, but in the, the new, new system you can score on every point even if it's not your serve. So the game's a lot quicker paced and it goes up to 21 points. For you to win it's, you've got to be two clear points ahead. So for example if you're both on 20 and you keep sort of one of you be, go, be, uh, keep going up to 21 or something, you'll get, you have to be like, win by two uh, until it gets to 30, which then you, it's basically first to 30 then after that point. So, um, change of ends is number three I've listed. So after each game, you will swap ends. So this just keeps it like fairer as well. So if there's any distractions such as I don't know, poor lighting for example, or there's a crowd or anything like that. Um, it just like, keeps the advantages to a minimal and, and disadvantages. So serving and receiving. So whenever you're serving, if the points, it's based on the points, so if it's even, uh, you will serve from the right, diagonally across the court. Uh, if it's odd, you'll be on the other side on the left hand side, serving to the right hand side on the other court. Um, okay, so number five, so faults. This will lead to the other player getting the points deducted. No, not deducted, sorry. <coughs> it would just mean you lose a point, so the person who, the attacker, will win the point. So, touching the net, um, or using your hand, you have to use a racket to hit the ball, or the or shuttlecock, sorry. Um, if it touches your side of the court, uh, within the boundaries, in, in, like the court size in singles is like narrow and thin, so it's a little bit like more challenging for singles players. Um, so, oh, but if you get a the shuttlecock gets stuck in the net, for example, that will be a let. So it's not doesn't happen very often, but it's uh, yeah, one of those things. So you'll also get a let if uh, you get distracted or you're not ready to receive a lot of serve. So this pivot this like keeps good uh, game conduct. Uh, the shuttle not in play. So this is like when it that's the number six. So this is when it's on the floor, like before the serve or your if like the shuttle is falling onto like the attacker side. So this also happens a lot after faults and all that sort of stuff. Okay, so the game is supposed to be continuous play. This is number seven. So continuous play is from the minute the game starts until the end of the match. You can have up to 90 seconds in between the first game and the second game up to five minutes in, be in between the third and fourth game. So as long as like, you, you can't just go off and have a glass of water like mid-game mid sort of thing, you've got to wait till the game is finished. Um, this, this stops like distraction and like people playing mind games as much as possible. If it's like continuous, um, you're also not allowed to have coaches like in, like coaching you from the side of the court. They've got to wait until the intermissions as well. So number eight, I've got the officials and um, appeals. So basically, you just got an umpire, and in higher end tournaments, you've got game um, um uh, linesman, which will help assist the umpire in making calls that aren't very obvious to see. So, so they're usually sitting in a high chair. This will be so they can see like we get we get a better vantage point um, in the middle of a court. So it's even, again even. Okay. So and if there is any appeals, such as like the player thought the ball was out, or the court the shuttlecock was out, sorry, 
then he could like, then go to the linesman and confer with him and get a second opinion. Again, just making it like prevents cheating as well and like good sportsmanship. So that is the eight rules of badminton I've got.